Hi there guys, it's Robert, an ambassador for Christ, and as you know, where I go, the kingdom goes. Remember, like, subscribe, share, 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 and as usual, eat the fish and spit out the bones, because some things you may agree with, and some things you may not. Now, oh yeah, also, what's happening down the bottom of the chat, and thank you for the donations to the ministry, it's good, you've been sowing seed to the ministry, it's good ground, and i am using it to increase the ministry. I'm thinking of, I, I want to start buying Bibles and send them around, but anyway, that's another, we'll talk about another time. Um, I want to talk to you today, right, about how I crushed my porn addiction. How I crushed my porn addiction. See the ring? Yes. Married man as well, you know. Woohoo! It's gonna be powerful. How I crushed it. And this is this. I haven't watched porn for yonks. At least over a year. I haven't watched porn for over a year. Alright? And I was watching porn on and off for years. Since I was 17. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> but as a man, I used to watch porn all the time over the years, especially with, the, especially with the internet. And I was addicted to it for years. Oh my days. But I'm going to show you, I was addicted to it and I got delivered, addicted, delivered. It's one of those things, it's bad because pornography is one of those things that you, as a man of God, as a Christian, as a son of God, it's one of those things, as a Bible believer, it's one of those things you fall into, get delivered. After about seven months, you fall back into it again. You get, get delivered. It's like a, 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 a to and throwing. But this is what it is. This, is. this is how I crushed it. This is powerful, right? How I crushed my addiction to pornography. Crushed it. And it's all in the Bible. It's all in the scriptures. The scriptures tell you how to do it. And it's so straightforward. It's so easy. Someone's going to get delivered today. It's, it's so deep. Now, oh, there's, well, there's, some guy sent me a WhatsApp message from Africa, right? And he's a husband. And he said he's addicted to pornography, can't stop watching it, watching it daily, <laughs> watching it daily. And he finds it hard to stop watching, uh, stop, you know, stop falling into a trap and stop, you know, all this madness, masturbating and all this stuff. So I said to him, this is so deep, this is how you crush it, you ready for the key? I'm going to give you the key right now, you ready? You ready? Right. I said to him, don't think of an elephant, don't, th don't think of an elephant. Well, if you, right now, don't think of an elephant. Guess what you just did? You, fought an, you just thought of an elephant. You see, you have to think of an elephant not to think of an elephant, right? So what happens is, a lot of us, what we do, right, is that we try to not watch pornography, but we're thinking about porn, not to think about porn. Woo, we're thinking about porn. What is it, right that way. Yeah, we're thinking, it's a bit, it's a bit dull outside today. <laughs> yeah. We think about porn, not to think about porn. So for me to stop watching pornography, I'm, I think about it to get it out of my head. Crazy, right? That's where the problem is. That's, that's where we fall back into our problems and fall back into that trap of watching pornography again because we keep thinking about it, not to think about it. Now, this is where it's powerful, right? The Bible says, <laughs> this, is the, this is such a powerful key. The Bible says that if you follow after the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you follow off of the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Because what happens is, is that if you follow off of the spirit hard and after the things of God hard, you don't think of pornography whatsoever. It doesn't come into your mind. Why? Because your mind and your spirit is taken up with the, taken up with the things of God. I do videos every day. Why do I do videos every day? Oh, I love I love doing the work of God. I love I love to share you know a message of encouragement to everybody out there. Okay, and share my my Christian my, my son of God experience to strengthen you guys. All right, but another one there's a reason there's one another reason why I do videos every day. You see, if I do videos every day, it forces me to think about God every day. It forces me to think about the things of God every day. And because I'm thinking of that, I'm not thinking about pornography. I'm not thinking about wickedness. Why? Because I'm thinking about delivering a word to you guys. I'm thinking about getting into the spirit of God so that I can release something, you know, uh, uh, across the airway, something sensible. Do you get what I'm saying? So because of that, I don't think about porn. Right now I'm talking about it. So in my head I'm thinking, yeah, pornography. But it doesn't have that effect on me no more. Why? Because I'm delivered. Because I haven't, I haven't watched porn for over a year. So it's not one of the things I run and go and do. A lot of people, what they do, like they're bored, and start watching pornography. You've got so much empty time in your in your day, you go and watch pornography because you don't know what else to do, so you go and watch porn. Do you get what I'm saying? So what you've got to do is that when you when you fill that stuff up with it, with the things of God, fill it up with the Bible, fill it up with, with worship, fill it up with um, you know doing things for the kingdom, 
you won't have time to think about pornography. About your head, it'd be out of your head. Now, this is a powerful revelation I'm going to share with you. You know when he speaks about in heaven, I always had this question, right? Um, you know, the Bible says uh, when you're in heaven, God shall wipe away every tear, and or you know, the form of things shall not be remembered. And you think to yourself, but people, but your family members that that haven't got saved and they're, and they're and they've got they're burning the lake of fire, for example, you'll be thinking about them, right? That's what you think. When you're in heaven, you'll be thinking about them. No, you won't. And I'll tell you why. Because you'll be surrounded by the things of God, surrounded by the Spirit of God, surrounded by the glory of God, surrounded by all this power. You won't think about your family or, or, or friends that, that didn't get saved because your mind will be taken up with so much with the glory and the presence of God. You wouldn't be thinking about that. That's how God takes all those things out of your remembrance. And that's how you forget about all those things because you're looking forward. You know what? The Apostle Paul said this, deep. He said that, it's in Philippians 3.13, he says, Forgetting those things that are behind, but reaching for those things that are before me, okay? So the high calling, or pressing towards the mark, the high calling of Christ, you know, of God in Christ Jesus, I think it is. So the Apostle Paul was always looking forward. He was always pressing forward. He was never looking back. He was never looking at the nonsense. He was never doing, you know, he killed loads, he was there, you know, uh, trying to kill the church and stuff like that. But he was always reaching forward, forgetting about that. He used it as his testimony, yes, but he didn't let that drag him down. He was always reaching forward to the high calling and pressing towards the mark. So that's what you need to be doing. If you want to be delivered, if you want to crush that, that spirit of pornography, you want to crush that, you want to crush that, that, that addiction, you have to fill your life with the things of God, look forward, reach to the high calling, reach and press towards the mark and fill your life with the things of God. And, and if you do that daily, that addiction of pornography, that spirit of pornography, that, that demon will no longer have a hold on you. Don't get me wrong. You know, today I get thoughts in my mind like, oh, do you remember that web remember that website? I'm like, hold on. That's a demon. <laughs> Jesus is good. It doesn't have that hold on me. Years ago or ages ago, I would have had that thought in my mind, do you remember that website? And next thing you know, I'd be running home to go and go, go on that website. Do you see that? But those thoughts no longer have a have a hold on me. See, I've been the spirit I've been delivered by the, from the spirit of lust. How do I know I've been delivered from the spirit of lust? I have a woman when I see a woman. I don't see them as a, as a sexual object. I, if a woman walks past me, I don't look at her body. On, I don't look at her body as she passes by me. I don't look at her body. Or when, she, when a woman's talking to me, I don't like, look at her chest. Like, Ooh. <laughs> I don't do any of that sort of stuff. When I see a woman, I see her face and I see her as a person. And I talk to her as a normal person. But back in the day, uh, you know, not, like last year or whatever, I would see a woman walk past me or a woman would be talking to me and I'd be looking at her, looking at her like, wow, yeah. And all these sexual images are going from, through my mind. Why? I was possessed by a spirit of lust. <laughs> they were in my thoughts, but I was just possessed by an evil spirit in my mind. Not my body, my mind, a part of my mind was hypersexualized by an evil spirit. But those days are gone. So now when I see a woman, like I said, when I see a woman, a woman, a beautiful woman walks up towards me and walks past me. I just carry on walking. <laughs> I don't do this. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. All hungry, all going on thirsty, like they would say in America. Going on like some thirsty. You know what? This is the other funny thing is, we're human. I'm, a, I'm. A, anyway, I'm not gonna ramble on no more. That's how you crush your uh, addiction to porn. That's how you crush it. You have to fill your life with the things of God daily. Press towards the mark. Keep your eyes on God all the way and think about the things of God. Follow after the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you don't follow after the Spirit, you're going to fulfill the lust of the flesh, which is envies, murders, possession, and all this foolish fornication, adultery, and all this foolishness. It's Robert, an ambassador for Christ, and as you know, where I go to Kingdom Goes. And like, subscribe, share as usual, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed, okay?